In this segment of the Family Accounting webinar, we'll review customizing your charge credit descriptions and other menu items. So all of these things are located in Configuration Setup. So we'll click Procare Home, Configuration, System. Most of the accounting is set up right here in Accounting Management. However, for this center, let's say I want to change the um, default number of days forward and back and this is at the region and school level, and I'll double click, and we can set it at the region level. I'm gonna go down to options, and the default number of days back and forth in Procare is 30, and in here, I've already got it set to 90. Let's say I want to let myself post up to, I just started with Procare, I need to backfill some old charges. I could say, you know what, let me post up to 180 days back. I could go to a maximum of 365. And forward, I have no need to post beyond 30 days. The reason you might want to keep this a little tighter is that it eliminates making mistakes, or at least reduces the number of mistakes that you might make. And I'll save and exit that. The bulk of the setup is here in Accounting Management. And here is where you could set up the chart of accounts which is general ledger terms, not the charge descriptions that go on the family ledgers, but this is your general ledger. So for instance, revenue, you may have 20 different charges and you could point them all at tuition in terms of general ledgers. If you're not familiar with general ledgers, don't worry too much about this right now because your accounting person can help you and your reports can be based either on the chart of accounts or most of our reports are gonna be based on what's actually going on the family ledger. So if this is unfamiliar territory for you, you can bypass it for now. However, your charge descriptions are here in family accounting. Charge credit descriptions. So anything I want to appear on a family ledger, I would need to have here. So here I've already got some charges entered under tuition charges. I also have other charges, things like field trips and diaper fees. To create new charges, Let's say I want one for the green room. I'm gonna click on the correct tab, which is tuition charge. I wanna type in my green room. And again, we go to the general account. If you're not certain about GLs, ask your accounting person. This is simply saying, if I run all of these different charges for all the different rooms, if I run a report based on general ledger, they're gonna be summed up in the tuition line. However, you can run reports based on the actual tuition charges if you want. So that's adding a tuition charge. You can add other charges. If you do add an item, you'll hit this screen which says Regions and Schools Exposure. For most of you, if you have just one school, just click on the top line because you are in fact exposing it to all schools. If you have 10 or 20 or 30 schools, you can selectively expose it so that only, let's say if I did this, only school one would be able to see the green room charge. Again, if you have just one center, just click the major item up at the top. Okay, next we have any credits you might wanna do. And these would be things like family discounts. So maybe you give a credit for something unique. Over here it says click here to add a new description, same as the tuition charge item. You'd put the description, which is what appears on the family ledger here, and the general ledger that it would point to on this side. Payments, I think you have enough payment descriptions in Procare and they are all mapped to undeposited because it depends on where you are depositing that particular payment to. It might be one bank versus another. There are two tabs left that I didn't talk about, and they are the special charges and credits. Unless you understand special charges and credits really well, there really isn't a need to change these. These are for the deposit on accounts. If you go to change these, just give tech support a quick call and make sure that you map them correctly. And what that's about is if I have something that's called deposit tuition general as a special charge, I wanna make sure that the special credit points to it, and that's the notion of this map, and you just wanna make sure that the descriptions match so that you don't mix accounts up. But most everything you're gonna be doing is gonna be tuition charges, credits, payments, and maybe some other charges. 
Once you have your charges, if a charge is almost always the same amount, the next item down here is standard amounts. So I wanna double click. And what this is saying is every time I pick a charge line called tuition infant, I want you to default it to 145. You can always override it when you wanna post. So let's say you've had your charges the same for a couple of years and you decide, no, they're gonna go up. Here's what you would do. Let's say tuition infant's gonna to go to 158. And I'll hit the down arrow and wobblers is gonna to go to 133 and so on. If I click save, that means every time I pick that charge afresh on a ledger, it will be the new amount. However, if it exists on a billing box, we're not gonna change it unless you say to. And the way you have Procare change it is the 158, 133. Any new billing boxes are gonna be created with those numbers, but the existing billing boxes will stay the same unless if you click on update here, or the down arrow, you can update them one by one, or what update all would do is it would take whatever you have on this screen, and if you had a billing box with a description of tuition infant in it, it would change it to 158. So you click update all, and all the billing boxes would in fact get updated. And then just exit out of here. If you wanted to add more cycle descriptions, so we had talked about weekly cycles. I'm gonna double click on billing cycles. You can add more descriptions here. And the formulas that we had talked about in formula billing are here. Again, if you need help with billing formulas, click on the question mark so you can get some ProCare help and descriptions on how to work those or simply give support a call and they will help you find an appropriate formula.